I want to pull on one of the threads you mentioned around skills. So, so that's uh, that's the word skills and the concept is on an, is on everyone's minds uh, these days, and uh, and and does it really so? So there's there's yeah, increasingly increasing spotlight on the the imperative to to develop skills and learners, uh, and that those skills need to be workplace relevant. They need to be uh, you know delivered with with greater greater clarity and focus. And, and delivered at the speed that industry requires. Uh, and this, you know, we're certainly seeing this being driven both by, by learners, newly liberated learners perhaps, but by learners as well as industry and, and the, the global skills uh, shortage that's really impacting um, uh, every company around the world. Um, and from my, from my experience, the concept of skills uh, at, at some institutions used to be looked, looked down, but that was a dirty word. Uh, that might have been the, the, for the vocational sector. Uh, we don't do skills, but but certainly recently we're finding our clients. Don't say competency now. either, Dan. Don't say. Well, I know you can say you can say mastery, but never competency. <laughs> right? So 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 uh, so different vocabulary, but and yet you know still the still the same learners. So um, we, yeah, so we're we're you know really seeing that our clients are are getting on board and and really you know looking to to make that shift from. From course centric to to skill centric learning, um, yeah, I'd love to get your your thoughts on on the broader perspective. You know, broader industry education industry are they ready? What do you think they need to do um, to make that transition? Yeah, fascinating topic, Dan. Uh, I think and, the and this is another yes no so question. So just no no, please please yes we need to be all better skilled. <laughs> uh, no, we don't have capacity to do it all. <laughs> is, is that sufficient? Um, so, so, so we and, and just to give some perspective. So, we are traditionally a business that's focused on on qualifications, accreditation, uh, degrees. So, we we manage across our portfolio. The vast majority of our portfolio is in postgraduate qualifications from sort of stackable certificates right the way mm -hmm. up to masters in anything and everything. So. You know, we have been less focused on, I guess, what people might assume skills-based learning is, which is, you know, shorter, unaccredited, micro-based components. That said, we manage tens of thousands of students in anything and everything, and, and the vast majority of those students aren't there to complete a two- to three-year master's degree. They are there to get the component of skills within the qualification that they need. Hmm. And that's been fascinating uh, to us over the years, which is that, and some of that is sort of labor driven. Uh, you know, if, if four months worth of cybersecurity learning is enough to get me, you know, increase in salary and a job, do I need to complete this because we have such skill shortages? But others are because I, I think it's a reflection of, you know, once people get beyond that undergraduate, their maybe their desire, their need, their will to be able to sort of persist through one form of learning for two to three years is, is certainly less. Um, we would have more students now in some of our uh, we have more students now who would complete multiple graduate certificates in various things than do one master's degree okay quite yeah. amazing so we would have a student that might do a graduate certificate in hr one in analytics and then something else in management before they would do you know one two-year master's program which is which is fascinating um so so the the disaggregation of of the traditional qualification into call it whatever you like, skills based learning or um, you know micro learning or um, sort of sub qualifications has been happening already, and it, like most things, it's driven by the user before the you know the market catches up and creates a, a sort of terminology for it. You know, battling around micro credentials, which you can't say these days without saying the word framework after it. Mm. Uh, I've learned, um, but the, the market's been doing it for ages. We're just a little bit late to try and figure out that it's happened and that we need to put some sort of parameters around it and some sort of name and, and terminology and structure to it. And 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 I, I think you you made a, a really important point around from a statistics perspective. You know, the fact that someone didn't complete or go for that full degree, they're not a failure, right? They, Correct. If, if they've acquired the skills and knowledge and abilities that that they're after, then that's that's a perfect success for them. Correct. Uh, Correct. We, we're, we're, the vast majority of our students don't live in in metro areas. They live in regional, rural areas all across Australia. And one of their reasons for for studying online is obviously 
physical uh, disparity to, to a campus. But another is the sort of anxiety and nervousness that exists, especially around, um, you know, 50% of our students are, are female. There can be an apprehension for working mothers going back into and going back into higher education that that the sort of remoteness is mm -hmm. a benefit to them. Um, and um, that that then the sort of that, that feeds into how they then learn and the sort of anxiety that comes with that. And to 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 get back into education is a huge step, especially if you've been out for 15, 20 years, there's all forms of nervousness and anxiety that come with it. And getting yourself back into a sort of way of learning through an academic qualification is tough. And that's a lot of what we have to do is supporting students in rural areas with the path that they then need to get to that qualification. So if that working mom in you know regional part of Victoria or Western Australia persists for four to six months to get some form of qualification or learning in an area that they may not have done for 15, 20 years, then in no way is that a failure to us. And it shouldn't be in any way, but it might be a statistical failure in, in terms of a, a, a sort of dropout or a, or a lack of uh, full qualification completion, but it's a fantastic success story. <laughs> So anyway, back to your point around around skills. Um, I, I think look, it's it's certainly happening, and um, I'm sure you spent most of the last couple of weeks typing things into Chat GPT just to see <laughs> how, how unclever you are. Um, I, My undergraduate dissert uh, dissertation. I, I know. Have, uh, yeah. I know. I know. I know. Where were we? Yeah. Um, I, I think things like that are wonderful, right? And, you know, in six months' time, there'll be the next version of that, and we'll move on, we'll move on, we'll move on. Is it going to replace the university in the next five years? No, it's, it, it's not. There's going to be, a, you know, it's like all these things, there'll be a, there'll be a, a great use for it, and it'll complement, and it'll add. Um, but I, I do think it's just another brick in the wall towards the various ways through which we can acquire knowledge and learning um, away from the, maybe the traditional way that you and I, you know, went to to a university and I, as the only offering that we could have got maybe mm -hmm. 15, 20 years ago. I think if I, you know, told my parents 20 years ago, well, actually, I'm just, you know, the computer's going to teach me how to be a, you know, <laughs> uh, um, and, and there's this thing, if I type it in, it'll tell me really quickly, my, my dad would have thrown something at me. Um, but, but we have to understand that, uh, I, again, I love the line that the future doesn't really care how you become an expert. Uh, and I, I look at that right now with the long, long list of people we have to hire and do, do I really care where my front end devs learn to be really good front end devs? Yeah. Do they need to have, you know, four years worth of sort of software engineering behind them at a, at a university to be able to be competent in, in the workplace? Probably not. Um, but then at the same time, you know, we, we, we sit at the, we, we fully believe in the value of a, of a university qualification, not just because of the skills you can learn, but also the, the, the non, uh, transferable information, the human-centered skills that you get alongside it. And when we go to work with large corporates and professionals, which we do all the time, the, the same feedback comes through again and again and again, which is that, yeah, we, we there are any amount of skilled professionals we can find, but none of them can solve a problem, work in a team, communicate, think critically, you know, hmm. the, 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 the general things that, that a great university uh, experience add to and supplement as well. Um, so the, the, I, there will be areas where things will be replaced. I think that's I think that's an absolute. But I think there's probably greater propensity for opportunity and complementary uh, opportunities for the sector where we can embrace yep the change and the diversity that's happening in technology, but it can add and supplement to the great experience that we can get through formal and informal qualifications out of university. And I think we're more excited about that than anything. And, and certainly that's a lot of what, what I know you're focused on is the, the, the acknowledgement and, and recognition that skills are in many capacities, right? And skills mm -hmm. are communication and critical thinking just as much as they are software engineering. Well, that, that's right. And, and, and a grade doesn't tell you, as, as you said, all those 21st century skills, human skills, call, call them what you will. Um, which are which are so so important. So so yeah, that that's that's our one of our our core focuses around that surfacing of of skills. Which um, yeah, which ties into you know what what you've said about the the variety of options that that learners have, and 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 that the degree itself is no longer the, the signal to hire that it once was. Mm -hmm.